This is how I like to rig up my red Komodo for easy rig, handheld, and tripod work. Hope you enjoy. This is how the red Komodo comes straight out of my Pelican case. You got the red outrigger handle, NATO rail attached on top, and a NATO rail that stays on the side over here. The first thing I like to do is add on the battery back right away. It's an Anton Bauer. I put it on the left battery uh, thing. I think it fits a little better. And then it plugs in to the back right port. This one. It's okay to slap a battery on there right away. I feel like adding a battery balances all, it all out uh, when you start adding things to the front. I add the uh, top handle next, slides onto the NATO rail, clamps down in the front. Then I add on my monitor. So this is a small rig, tilt swivel mount. Um, it can go 360s, up and down, vertical, horizontal. It's freaking awesome. I attach this poor keys five inch monitor to the top via this quick adapter. This is where I like to put it. Next, I add in the cords. I like to attach the D-tab cord into the Anton Bauer. It takes a little bit of force to push in, but you can just pop it in there. This low hanging short side that is close to the D-tab monitor. That's the SDI out from the red. I like to attach this after the red is turned on. I'm sure you've heard of these before. The Komodo has an issue where sometimes the power jumps through the camera and shorts out the SDI out uh, port. So when you turn the camera off and on, always make sure that this is out of the camera and then plug it in. SDI in port goes into the top in on the monitor and then the power from the D-tab goes into the bottom one. It takes like a little bit once you line it up, a little bit of force to push it in. This is a small rig, like hot swap rail mount that I use and you can clamp it all the way. Boom. This is the time I like to attach my lens and adapter. I'm using the EF to RF adapter with this 11 to 20 Tokina uh, wide angle lens. This follow focus, tighten down and then this little nice little handout follow focus. Next I'll show you a wireless follow focus setup. So what's nice about the red is that you can just lean it over on the outrigger handle and in this configuration with the rails, it just balances for you. So I like to attach the clamp first. I like, it goes a uh, slidey part out. So it goes, this can clamp onto the rails right here. Nucleus M. You need to have this piece sort of loose to be able to attach the motor. So it slides on, you can get it into the right position and tighten it up with this piece right here. You power the motor with this D-tap cord. It's labeled on the back, D-tap to motor, just so I don't forget. Yeah, it can go into this or the battery and it goes into the top part of the motor here. Cable management, when you get kind of building these rigs, starts to become uh, an important thing. So we got our wireless transmitter here. Um, I put the screen side facing the camera because the SDI port is close to the back of the monitor. This red SDI out, monitor out, boom, to the back of this piece. This one powers from here and you go into the battery. It has one DTAP and one USB, so boom, the Axune just powers up right away. That, that's how you rig this in this configuration if you're using follow focus and you're having an AC pull focus for you. To just show you on the other side what that looks like. So I'm gonna move the red over here, pull in the wireless follow focus director's monitor. We've got the Axion already attached. And so all you need to do is add on the focus motor grip. And so we're gonna take one of these off. Well, here's the Nucleus M Fizz unit that attaches to the monitor with this elbow piece that has a little hole. So you can just screw the two together and then this can just slide right on to this piece and sick, you're good, you're in business. Now you can have the whole system in your hands just like this, pull focus, and look at the monitor, no problem. To enable recording from the Euclid, you use this, this cable 
Uh, so you put the four motor side in the EXT2 port. It goes into this back right port right here. And that enables recording from the wireless fizz to this unit. If you want to attach the grip, pull focus as a single op from the grip. NATO rail clamps onto the NATO rail here. And suddenly you have like a nice little secondary handle outlet that you can use you know, however you want. Sometimes I like to rig it this way. This is an interesting configuration if you want. You know, you, now you can pull focus from here. So yeah, that's an interesting layout if you're interested in that. Sick, that's three Komodo setups that I like using. Hopefully this helps and happy shooting out there. Go get them, baby.